welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I would do a yearly update in regards to Albie and how he is doing. Everybody seemed to really enjoy my video which I posted when we first adopted Albie so I thought it'd be really nice for you guys to see a quick video of him and how he is doing. I also thought I would include some of his favourite treats and food and toys as you can see. So let's go on with the video. So firstly I wanted to speak to you about Albie's food. Now when we first got him, the lady at the RSPCA said that they were feeding him Felix. Now we didn't want to change that so we went out and bought exactly the same food. That was his routine and we didn't want to change that. I'm sorry if you can hear little noises but Albie is currently playing as you can see in the background. So we went out and bought Felix. Now he used to enjoy them in jelly. And uh, the ones that we have here are the country recipes and this is the Felix Doubly Delicious. And he used to really enjoy them but one day he just seemed to be going off his food and I think he was getting a bit bored. So we decided to change it and we went with Sheba. Now I know this is a little bit more expensive than the Felix but he seems to really enjoy it and that's all that matters to us really is that he's enjoying his food and he looks forward to his breakfast and dinner. So we decided to change it and go with in gravy instead of in jelly. And this was kind of an accident, we just picked up the wrong one. But as we bought it we thought we would try it and he seemed to really enjoy it. So now he doesn't have in jelly, he has in gravy. And um, Sheba do a great variety of different flavours. This one is the succulent selection of meat and they also do a fish selection so um, that's what we tend to buy for him now and we stocked up obviously with everything going on with Covid. We walked into a supermarket at the very start of lockdown and there was hardly any cat food and um, so we stocked up on lots of Sheba so it's a good job he still likes it. And then for lunch sometimes he will get quite hungry. Um, so we buy these Sheba Perfect Portions Luxury Pate and we actually found these because Sheba were putting them as samples in their food and uh, we thought we would give it a go and try it with Albie and he actually really enjoys them. So they are perfect because like they are advertised are perfect portions and um, these ones are in salmon. I don't think they have many flavours because they are new but he really enjoys them which is good and um, you get six in a box so that's what he will sometimes get at lunch um, and if it's not a pate then he will have biscuits now we're almost running out of these biscuits as you can see there's not many in the bag anymore but these are the Purina one physical health for today and tomorrow biscuits adult obviously but they are a indoor formula because obviously Albie being an indoor cat he doesn't necessarily need all the food as an outdoor cat would have especially because he's not as active so this is a special indoor formula that we have for him stops him really putting on weight as well I guess um, but he really enjoys it and this is what we put down for him at lunch and obviously when we go to bed so he has something to nibble on if he gets hungry throughout the night. So that is the food that we put down for Albie and um, he's really enjoying that at the moment, aren't you Buzz? <laughs> um, as you can see he is playing with these toys. Now Albie loves playing with toys, obviously you have to keep your cat very active if they are indoors as well you have to keep their mind entertained so he has quite a few toys he has two scratching posts one quite tall one because he's grown he's a big boy now he's not as small as he was when we first got him so he does have that little scratching post still which he loves and we can't bear to take away from him um, but he does have a proper full-size one now as well which he also enjoys but he still seems to enjoy the little one which is fine. <laughs> um, and then these toys are great because they also have a scratching back on them so he can get his claws right into them. And these were Christmas presents for Alvi last year and we did originally buy him the mouse one um, but 
Albie found it and uh, wouldn't give it back to us to hide. He got very upset when we did try to hide it. So we ended up giving this one early to him and then we went out and bought another. And we actually got these from Aldi's and I think they were about 5 99 But for the quality, like they're really good. It was a really good price because they are quite big as you can see. I mean, it's pretty much almost, I mean, it's like half of Albie's size. <laughs> but um, yeah, really good quality toys and he really enjoys them, that's the main thing. So, there we go, bubs. I'll put that one back there for you. Um, grooming brushes, I thought I would show you this. Now, this is the very first brush that I would put in the haul in the video when we got Albie. It was about £10 from Pets at Home, and uh, this is a great brush for just grooming him and getting his coat nice and shiny. That is the main brush. So, this brush is basically a shredding brush and um, he doesn't like this one as much but it's to help get rid of all that loose fur that he is shredding because he is a long haired cat he does drop a lot of fur everywhere so we just wanted to obviously keep him well groomed and we bought this brush from I think it was Sue Plus and roughly about £10 but it's great as um, it picks up all the loose fur and um, keeps his coat nice and shiny so Great brush to have, everyone recommended it as well and um, I, I also recommend it, it's really good but it can cause a lot of static so we tend to use a water spray just to obviously help him not have so much static on his fur and for easier and for us to groom him otherwise the fur is literally just sticking to everything he's rubbing up against. So that's what we tend to do but we do have to distract him because he doesn't like it as much as this brush but there we go just to keep his coat nice and shiny he's going to sleep can you see him <laughs> he's so cute are you lovely Alps you good boy okay so and they're the brushes that we use and as you can see here I have a dreamies gift box because dreamies is Albie's favorite treat although we did buy him a Felix stocking for Christmas and it came with loads of goodie bag treats and he also really loves these so we uh, we finished the stocking now these are the last remaining treats from the stocking so we decided to open the dreamies box and uh, he seems to have gone back to enjoying dreamies and as a little treat we used to give him dreamies um, but yeah he, he went on to liking the Felix ones but now he's back onto dreamies again so I am going to give him a few dreamies because he's been a very good boy and um, I just wanted to show you the little trick that we do with Albie and I thought it's something that you'd really enjoy. Shall we show them your trick? He's like no, no, I'm tired now. Do you want some dreamies? I don't think he does. <laughs> As you can see, there he goes. Do you want to come for some dreamies? Oh, yay, there he goes. Come on then. I'm going to be saying hello to the camera, Abby. This one's a beef. Okay, what do we do? High five. Good boy. <laughs> you don't bite my fingers. <laughs> High five. High five. Good boy! <laughs> hey, high five! Good boy! There you go. Good boy! That's Albie's little high five trick. Did you like those ones? <laughs> so as you can see, he's really... Well, he needs a brush underneath his chest. <laughs> but he doesn't actually like us brushing his chest. So he always looks a bit scraggly there. You're a good boy. So I just thought I would go through Albie's routine. So firstly in the morning I will wake up and get showered and dressed. I will then go downstairs and find Albie normally asleep on the window ledge in the downstairs cloakroom. Now this is his favourite place to sleep at night because it is a massive window ledge and we do put his blankets on top of it for him to be comfortable. So I would normally come down to find him still asleep and uh, he will soon know that it is breakfast time. So I will obviously pick up his bowl, 
give him his food, change his water, and then I will continue doing what I need to do on a morning. And um, Albie will then tend to go upstairs into the bedroom and up onto the bed where he will remain until about 12 o'clock and will continue to sleep. <laughs> then I will go downstairs and have some lunch and Albie will normally follow us. And then once he's had his lunch, he will tend to go to sleep again, whether he'll come back upstairs onto the bed or if Phil is downstairs in the lounge, he will jump up on top of the ottoman where we will put his mustard blanket and he will fall asleep. He'll probably stay there asleep until his dinner time or he may get up and play with some of his toys where Phil or myself will obviously keep him entertained and play with him. He will also use his scratching posts and uh, we're trying to encourage him not to scratch our sofa. <laughs> and then he will have his dinner so we will feed him his dinner and then he'll pretty much mooch around the house and uh, lay in the lounge obviously where we're having our dinner and that is pretty much it really he tends to fall asleep on the stairs a lot as well he has the corner step which he can stretch out on or on an evening he will tend to come upstairs with me and lie on my blanket right up close to my feet and will pretty much stay there until Phil will carry him downstairs. That's pretty much Albie's routine. Like any cat, he will sleep quite a lot, he will like to play with his toys. He's just very comfortable and he's a uh, very little happy chappy. So that is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and bell to get notifications when I next upload. And I hope you enjoyed just seeing Albie and how he's developed into such a beautiful cat. And if you would like to get more updates in regards to Albie, let me know in the comments box below. And I'll be back with a new video very soon. Bye guys.